Hi, this is Birjo, and today I will share with you my design team project I made for a lovely, talented lady from California. Her name is Susan Taylor Brown, and she also has an Etsy store, and that's called Poppiness. Um, I used for this uh, junk journal mostly the gorgeous colorful digital little kit called Sunset Dance. Uh, the kit has 25 bold color pages, all bright leaf impressions, some tags and also very useful lined pages. So let's um, start. For the cover I chose this, this page, I, I just love it. Um, in the front this size and in the back it's the other side. I mean it's 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 amazing. Also I made some tags and for example for this tag I by accident I um, printed it really small so um, I just put it to this one, sewn some uh, stitching and put a cardboard there and the tag is ready. So let's get inside. Um, I used the old book and here I for a spine I used some lace trim. So it's an old book and because it was in a very good condition I, I um, left the page as it is, putting some um, gorgeous lace trim in the front and in the back. It's like um, dark purple or lilac and this is the first page. I used the same as in the front and then I made these tabs. The first part it's two signature um, journal. first part has something like with lilac and the other one is more like um, um, reddish colors, so um, that's why these three and these three. So here I made a pocket using wallpaper and then this um, paper bag because it goes with the colors well. This is one of the gorgeous pages. It's really wonderful. And then I because it was a little bit longer, I just put it like this and made some some trim here so that it's for writing. So this is more or less for writing this journal. Then I used, um, here I used one page um, from the digital vintage fern papers. It's a background paper and um, here I used from the um, Kids Sunset Dance, some um, leftover pieces, even this little piece I thought it's it makes just fine to make a pocket. And this uh, bookmark, this is from, I bought from Italy, from Firenze once and um, it has just been waiting to get exactly here. So in this page I just made a small uh, collage with an um, old pattern paper from the collection, also some some leftover pieces, some um, lace piece. This is um, elderberry dyed for me and it goes so well with the papers. Here just some coffee dyed paper and the tap. Here's another one on these gorgeous pages. So Susan makes a lot of echo dyeing and um, she is very talented and ha has a very good feeling to nature. So um, I could call her like echo dyeing queen of the south. <laughs> so here's also just one small piece of the paper with my elderberry dyed um, lace piece. And here just some cheesecloth and piece of the paper. Here I just used some stencil 
with my old with these these kind of stencils I bought from antique market one day. So another tap. Here um, I used my this um, actually it's for fabric to stamp. And this is another gorgeous page with the sleeve image. And here again some stamping and another gorgeous, gorgeous page. And here again I used just a small piece and a paper flower, coffee dyed paper. And this is middle of the first signature. I used some, this is also with elderberry. Uh, died and this is just I happened to have this I guess I was drinking wine somewhere and this uh, came with the wine so of course I took it home here's the one vintage key and here is the second tag I made you did some trim this uh, nice um, trim here some trim here and the back is the cardboard and look at this it's so gorgeous really nummy and then just some coffee date papers beautiful some some are tea dyed, some coffee dyed. And this is the other side of the fern background paper. So that was the first signature. And the second one, I used these papers more in yellow and um, red colors. And here is just with the index card I made this small tag and this actually belongs to here and here's some my coffee dyed paper and here I thought this goes well with, with this color so it's like a this piece big piece of lace um, fabric and under that this is just um tag I made this is was a postcard a copy of the postcard and in here I used a piece of the paper of the collection here's another one of these small pieces is some decoupaging with the music uh, piece just these nice tags, tabs, sorry, tabs. Another nice page. And here's the third of the tags. And this is also a small pocket. Let's put this here. And this is uh, again wallpaper. And this is made with red paper here. And there I have some things hanging. This is actually from my childhood uh, things. It's a real stone. And some uh, stamping with these nice Indian stamps. And this uh, kind of boho fabric piece. And in the middle, of course, some buttons. Because if you have seen other videos from me, I have quite a few buttons there. So here I tried with some leather, leather piece and some um, lace and pieces of the papers beside that. And... Uh, it turned out pretty nice. Here again, page from the kit. 
and this was a trim from the lampshade I used for one cover I from another journal and here is just a paper flower and piece of my my own colored fabric and here is another these small collage pieces with the pattern and slice flower and cheese cloth and piece of that um, lace trim and here is a side pocket and I made this uh, small booklet that's also the paper from the fern vintage fern papers using I used this trim here's another image from the kit and just some papers but this is so it's beautiful <laughs> I really enjoyed working with this these kits in another just piece of the paper and here I did put this uh, pattern and that's the end so I did enjoy a lot making this even first I thought that oh it's so colorful if I can manage that but yes I think it's turned out nice and I hope Susan that you like like it too and um, she's really a great artist and you should go and get to know her I will put uh, a link to her channel under this video and um, that was all for today so I wish you all a sunny feelings at least because winter is coming so sun is uh, a rare thing and um, this evening we are waiting snow here in Germany so I hope everybody are well and um, thinking of you all and uh, have a good day bye